In the Strauss Alpine Symphony excerpt number one, the accents inside the slurs are possible. Just pulse the bow with excess weight and speed at the beginning of the notes with accents. Many of the bowings change on beats two and four, slurring into the following beats one and three. Don't let that throw you. Measures two through four and measure two before rehearsal 14 need to be played in the upper half of the bow to have enough bow for the long high note. In the second measure of rehearsal 15, I like to play it entirely on the G string by playing the F with the thumb. Finally, show the difference between forte and fortissimo by playing the fortes a little softer. One, two, three. In the Strauss Alpine Symphony excerpt number three, the bowing is the opposite as it is in excerpt number one. This time the bow changes are on beats one and three. It is customary to do a little retard going into rehearsal 94. Find the high D third of 95 by before you play the low E, tapping the string during the rest. Don't let the odd bowing third of 95 throw you. Every other beat is down bow, then up bow, etc. One, two, three. <laughs> In the Strauss Alpine Symphony excerpt number five, I like to think of the ascending chromatic scales as we pass through the strings O one two one two O one two one two. Starting with the middle of the second measure of 114A, the first note of each group of four sixteenth notes ascends by half steps. Playing this excerpt is all about fingering patterns. Figure out a good fingering and play the same fingering pattern every time. And quarter note equals quarter note at rehearsal 115. One, two, three, four. 